20 miles long by five miles wide. 100 square miles of spaceship. Signal decoded. Let's hear it. Emergency. Emergency. This is the commander of the spaceship Daria. A major catastrophe has occurred. Large areas of our ship are devastated. Thousands of our people are dead. Hundreds sick and dying. We who survive will perish without urgent medical and material aid. Please help us. Our life type conforms to 450X294H. Kill it. Let's see it close up. We're picking up life signs, Commander. Maybe it's not too late, Commander. What do you think, John? We'll need a team. Paul, you'll assess material damage. Hello to medical. Victor, scientific. Lowry, security. Alan, put Eagle One on the pad for immediate liftoff. And Sandra, keep all communication systems wide open. Any response from that ship, relay it through to us. Kano, you take over. sign of a wane, Commander. Alan, it's 50 miles of ship. Keep trying. We're being drawn into the ship. Legal systems are smothered. Eagle One calling main mission. Eagle One calling main mission. Do you read me? Eagle One. Try a tunnel. See if we can raise any of the people on this ship. It's useless.
All right. You wouldn't need those. We have breathable atmosphere outside. And a power source somewhere. What happened to our communications? Radiation distortion. Even our comm locks are affected. The ship is saturated with atomic radiation. Radiation? Yeah, but it's too weak to harm us. And, uh, yes, life signs are confirmed. There is life somewhere on this ship. Let's find it. Here goes. Now, these two corridors should lead to the main areas of the ship. Victor, you and I will take the one on the right. Paul, you and Alan will follow the one on the left. Helena, you and Larry will stay back here close to the Eagle. If we don't make contact with the Darians, we'll rendezvous back here at 1,600 hours and see if we can get out of this place. If there's trouble, well, let's hope the Darians understand our motives. Let's go. We're in for a long walk. Huh? A ship like this, the size of a city, ought to be worth it. That remains to be seen. Let's see how far we can get.
Are you recovered? understand that you're strangers. We found you on our ship. We had to know whether your intentions were hostile or not. And why the hell didn't you ask? We probed your mind and the mind of your friend. We know all there is to know about you and your people, Commander Koenig. Who are you? Our people are called Darians. This was our world. 
Daria. I'm Kara, director of reconstruction on this ship. Have you found the rest of my people? Your friend Bergman is resting. We don't know where the others are yet. We'll find them, but it may take a bit of time. You must understand, Commander Koenig, that apart from this small area, our ship is a wilderness. We picked up your signal. That signal was automatically triggered when all but one of our nuclear reactors exploded. It's been transmitting ever since. Ever since when? Ever since this disaster occurred, 900 years ago. Only this part of the ship was shielded. Out of 50,000 Darians, only 14 of us survived intact. 14? Not all died at once, of course. Thousands survived the explosions. But they were sick, irradiated. And we came here to help. We're far beyond the call for help that brought you here. But your presence here is vital to our survival.
I am Neiman, commander of this ship. Have you found the rest of our people? Unfortunately, no. We'd planned to rendezvous back at our ship. Well, there's no one there. But it's possible that they are looking for you. Believe me, we are doing our best. And not succeeding, damn it. Commander, we are few. And see. The ship is large. All right, I understand. Please, follow me. As commander of the Alpha base on the moon, your people abide by your decision. Has it occurred to you how similar our situations are? This ship, your moon, both of us victims of an unfortunate disaster. Yes, we have that in common. You know that this ship was virtually destroyed. You may recall a ship from your own Earth history. You mean the Ark? Yes. This ship has a similar function, to preserve the life and skills of our Darian race. You see, our planet Daria no longer exists. And is it not true that your own planet Earth may also no longer exist? It's possible. So your community may be all that is left of Earth's civilization. That too is possible. But it's a possibility that you dare not ignore. Maybe, but it's also the incentive that spurs our will to survive. But will you survive? You haven't answered me, Bonnie. Even, we try not to anticipate the future. Our concerns are with the present. And for the present, yes, we survive. But for how long? Your moon is lost. At the mercy of all the random forces of deep space. In time, your resources will give out. Your people start to die. You will all perish. Well, we have some way to go before we get to that point. Commander Koenig. We are coming to the end of a thousand year voyage. Our main drive is undamaged. The ship is programmed to reach our destination, a virgin planet where the Darian civilization can begin again. Don't you understand? We are offering your people a guarantee of survival. Now join us. Share in the future on the new world that awaits our arrival. I know your concern for the rest of your party. I will personally supervise the search. But in the meantime, please, consider our offer. The shrine of knowledge. We dedicate this perfect body. We pledge her in the spirit of true science. We pledge her in the light of clear knowledge and maintain that she is free of the mutant whom we abhor in all his manifestations. This we pledge on the sacred book of Neiman, maker of man, father of spirits. To you, Neiman, we, the survivors of level seven, offer this body. That's it. We throw in our lot with them, 
And they let us share their new world. Victor, it'll take the Darians another hundred years to reach that planet. A hundred years. It's a very long time. We certainly won't be around to see it. No, but uh, we could open up this ship. It's start families, prepare our people for the future. It's very tempting, John. After all, we can't go on as we are indefinitely. It means abandoning Alpha, pooling our resources, and the question is, are we compatible? I mean, can we complete the voyage with the Darians? All right, let's test it. I think I've located the airlock mechanism. We should be able to fix it for control, entry, and exit. Yeah? Good. What's the matter? Uh, I'm not sure. We've established that the Darians are as human as we are. Their food requirements are similar to ours. Uh, these are the components we use to provide our food on Alpha. They're processed and uh, recycled, of course, to make them palatable. And these are the Darian requirements. See, different system, but uh, same requirements. But now, look at their components. No basic proteins, no amino acids, or trace elements. No enzyme variants. Well, the Darians can't support life on these. Well, the Darian computer supplied the list, and I've checked it. There's no mistake. There are no reserves of those elements anywhere on this ship. Now, have you checked the recycling plant itself? Oh, yes. All of those essential elements are present and being constantly renewed. Now, if the Darians have no reserves on this ship... Well, then, uh, just a minute. I said that there were no reserves of these elements anywhere on this ship. That's not strictly correct. There is one source where they could find those elements. A human source. Bodies. That's it, John. Living human bodies. <laughs> Of 
Is that true? Doesn't matter where we get those elements from. It matters. We would have told you. Now, civilized people, why? To live. Doesn't it also matter how you live? Our experience on this ship has taught us the truth, the only truth, survival. Look, you can't justify using the living bodies of your own people to survive. Oh, no, no, not our own people. How could we? There are only 14 true Darians on this ship. The others. Others? What others? They exist. Out there in the radioactive wilderness. The descendants of the original survivors, they were left to die. It was 20 years before we knew they'd survived. Oh, you can't comprehend what we found. A million years of civilization wiped clean in one generation. And what was left were degenerate creatures. Savage, mutant, cannibal. Why didn't you help them? Oh, we couldn't reveal our presence. They would have overwhelmed us. But we tried to help them survive. We taught them the rudiments of science. We gave them a god to believe in. You gave them a god? A god who taught them to preserve only the fittest. The weak, the sick, the mutant were... We used this human fodder for your recycling plants. It only became necessary after our own resources ran out. Don't you see? There were only 14 of us. We had to survive. You Darians value yourselves very highly. Oh, do you think we only did it so that Neiman and I and the other Darians could live? Well, didn't you? No. There's a greater survival. I'll show you what it is. of the false spirits. Who will follow? Who of you will follow? Our mission is to survive this voyage. Not for ourselves, but for this. A gene bank that contains the undamaged genetic material of our race. A double helix. The same basic genetic material of our species. Well, then you will realize how important it is to us. We managed to preserve it before radiation irreparably damaged our people. And with it, we can build up our race again. Pure, healthy Darians. That's why we need you, John Coney. You have the resources that we need to complete our voyage and save our race. You seem to have done very well without us. Not for much longer. The mutant survivors are dying faster than they can replace themselves. And once they die, all life on this ship perishes. And with it, a million years of civilization. Join us, John Koenig. Put an end to this terrible thing we've had to do. It will guarantee our survival and your future. We do nothing until we find the rest of my people.
Come on. Professor. Where are the others? They've got Helen. She's around here somewhere. Lowry? Lowry's dead. Carter. I don't know. We got separated back there. Now, Helen has to be this way. Hey. You want to run away now you know the truth? Oh, come on. Move it. She's reviving. She's not been harmed. She'll be all right in about 12 hours. Now, what's going on here? Transplant surgery. Ever since the catastrophe, we Darians have had to prolong life by artificial means. You just stay here. Future you had in mind for us, wasn't it? To keep you Darians alive! 
Was it? Was it? Yes. not our way, Neiman. We prefer to take our chances in space. Do you think we wanted this? Now, you must believe me. Once our race has been established on the new planet, we, Kara, the rest of the Darians, will gladly die. Neiman! The survivors have broken in! in space. We'll help you. The rest is up to you. me to tell you sometime. If the same thing happened on Alpha, would you have chosen differently? I'm going to tell you sometime. <laughs> 